welcome to today's episode of the Simply Financial Podcast. I'm your host, Christopher Calandra, and we want to increase your financial IQ with today's episode, which is going to cover what is a Roth IRA for kids. So it's a great title, but I already threw out there a misnomer because there is really no such thing as a kid's Roth IRA. It's just a regular IRA that parents can establish as guardians for their children. So let's talk about some of the aspects of this. First off, there's no age limit. You could do it at any age, but, but, and this is important, you do need earned income. And at younger ages, unless the child is an actor or a movie star, might be difficult to get earned income. So you do need earned income, but there's no age limit. Uh, it's subject to the normal IRA limits. So that means in 2022, you can contribute up to $6,000. That's the Roth IRA limit for 2022. In 2023, it's $6,500. Now keep in mind with this strategy, you could only put in up to the earned amount with a maximum of $6,000 or $6,500. $500. What I mean by that is if the child only makes $2,000, then that's the limit, not the $6,000 or $6,500. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now, in terms of the earned income, one thing that you see a lot is if you have a small business, a family owned small business, you can get creative and have the uh, child work for the business, oftentimes even younger than you would normally expect somebody to go out and get a W-2 type job. I've also seen creative ways where you could use the child's likeness on websites and marketing materials, and you could pay the child for that work. Now, I'm not an accountant, I'm not an attorney, but let's just follow common sense. If the child does that and you pay them $20,000, uh, that probably is not gonna pass muster. It just doesn't seem right and appropriate. But uh, if it's a reasonable amount of money and you feel that you could justify it, if you were asked about it, get your advice of your CPA, uh, you probably could pull something off that's reasonable, reasonable. Also, this doesn't have to be W-2 income necessarily. Babysitting jobs, dog sitting jobs, the types of jobs we do early on when we're first getting a little experience making money um, can and do count as long as you keep track of that income. So let's review the benefits of the Roth IRA. You probably know them already, but when you put the money in the Roth IRA, when you contribute the money to the Roth IRA, you do not reduce your tax liability at all. Now, when you're looking at the strategy for children, they're probably not paying any money in taxes anyway, unless again, in my prior example, they're an actor or movie star. Uh, so that doesn't really make a difference because they have no tax liability if they're making $2,000, $6,000, $8,000, something nominal like that, right? So the money goes in the Roth IRA, doesn't impact the child's taxes or your taxable income either as the parent. The money goes in the Roth IRA, as it earns interest, as it accumulates, you don't pay taxes on any of the growth. And then at retirement age, you can take all of the money out, both your principal and the earnings out tax-free. And this is where the power of this strategy comes in because I did this strategy for both my daughter and my son. Did I put gobs of money into it? No, it was a nominal amount of money when they were younger, funded the Roth IRA to give them a head start. My son, Dominic is 16. I did it for the first time in 2022 and I expect I'll do it each year. Uh, going back to the prior rules I talked about, I was unable to do the maximum $6,000 contribution in 2022 because he didn't have enough income, but I did do what I was able to do. So going back to the power of this, if you put in a couple of thousand dollars or more in the early years and you let that money grow and accumulate based on historical investment returns, which are not guaranteed, but if we use that as a forecast, using history as a guide, uh, when he, I'll use my son again, Dominic, as an example, when he gets to 60 or 65, he'll have a pile of money in there. Uh, that little bit of money that can contribute at a younger age will grow and grow and compound interest throughout all of his uh, working years. 
such that what's in his Roth IRA will mostly be earnings and only a little bit of principal. And he'll be able to take all of that out tax-free. As a parent, that sounds like a very rewarding legacy to leave for my children. Hopefully there'll be other legacies as well, but this is a neat one to include in the mix. Now, it is uh, wonderful to think about the money not being touched for decades and decades and decades, and that may happen, but there is a default use of the money before that. Roth IRAs have an interesting provision, and that is you can take out contributions anytime for any reason, and you could take it out tax-free and penalty-free. It is not subject to the normal 10% early withdrawal IRS penalty. So let's use an example. You put $2,000 in for a child a year for five years, you put in 10,000, and then let's fast forward. The child is maybe 26, 27, 28 in my example, and the Roth has grown to let's say $18,000 again, I'm just making up numbers for an illustration. Uh, there's $18,000 in the Roth IRA. The child, well, they're now an adult, aren't they? But the child can take out the $10,000 of principal, uh, can take it out for any time, for any reason, tax-free and penalty-free. They could take the $10,000 out, perhaps for a down payment on a house, maybe to fund a new business, maybe for a car, a honeymoon, could be anything. They then leave the $8,000 in there and that $8,000 would continue to grow and accumulate without taxes and can be withdrawn without taxes when they get to retirement age. And just to play this out even further, by the way, let's say the child doesn't spend all of the money in their lifetime. They could pass it on to their children and their children or grandchildren could take it out tax-free. Again, a nice legendary kind of move, intergenerational wealth kind of strategy. So I think this is very appealing. If you want to explore this further, um, email me, call me, would love to discuss it. You could go to the website, elliotwealth.com. Uh, you could sign up for a complimentary consultation where we could talk about this. That is if you're not a client. If you're already a client, you could go to the website and access my schedule, put a call or a meeting on the schedule and we could talk a little bit about it. It's a neat strategy and one worth considering. Again, you need the earned income for a child, uh, but beyond that, we could do some neat things. I hope you found this information beneficial. Uh, we try very hard to put forth good information. Uh, please subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already. You're gonna check out my website. I just mentioned that a moment ago. And I'll be back with you on the next episode of the Simply Financial Podcast very soon. Thanks for listening today. The views expressed are not necessarily the opinion of SagePoint Financial Incorporated and should not be construed directly or indirectly as an offer to buy or sell any securities mentioned herein. Investing is subject to risks, including loss of principal invested. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. No strategy can assure a profit nor protect against loss. Please note that individual situations can vary. Therefore, the information should be relied upon when coordinated with individual professional advice. Please note the information being provided is strictly as a courtesy. When you link to any of the websites provided here, you are leaving this website. We make no representation as to the completeness or accuracy of the information provided at these websites, nor is the company liable for any direct or indirect technical or system issues or any consequences arising out of your access to your use of third-party technologies websites, information, and programs made available through this website. When you access one of these websites, you are leaving our website and assume total responsibility and risk for your use of the websites you are linking to. Securities and advisory services are offered through SagePoint Financial Incorporated, member FINRA SIPC, insurance services offered through Elliott Wealth Management, LLC, not affiliated with SagePoint Financial.